Okay, here is a Pickle 40 Skyward. Just got this off eBay. I got a really good deal, 48 bucks. And I'm just gonna, I've already ran it once, so I'm gonna run it again. Um, you can see the S there for Skyward. Um, this does have the in-fuel mixture. Now, if you can't find any directions and you have this, what you want to do is close this and lock it with this nut. Just, unless you want to hook a servo up to it and screw around with that, but you, know, you can tune it with this just fine. If you're some pattern flyer and you think you know 4 RPM more is going to make the difference, then you'd want to use this. Otherwise, it's just a gadget. I mean, it can be used. But I'm just going to start it, let it run, kind of, you know, high idle, just because it hadn't been run. It's already smoother than it was when I got it but I just want to let it run so after it starts I'm not gonna be able to talk to you because it's well it's louder but I'm gonna fill it up like I said I'm just gonna start it let it run the tank out and then I'll fill it with after run oil and then put it away until I need it for something My little test stand I built. Go ahead and get some fuel in here. But Pickles are actually really good engines. Um, they usually start easy. They got lots of power. They're Italian made. Um, I haven't made a video. I did look for a video for a Pickle Skyward on YouTube and stuff. The only one I could find was that Mac and Queer, you know, taking apart another brand new engine, never did run it. Um, don't ever do that. Don't take apart a brand new engine just to look inside and find out. It looks brand new. What else do you think you're going to find? Ain't going to rust until you put something on the metal parts to cause it to rust. That's just half the reason for breaking oil. Um, or after run oil. But, uh, you get a new engine, just leave it new. Nothing worse than when I buy an engine that's supposed to be brand new and I look at the screws and I can see tool marks. Don't do it. Um, but I'll go ahead and start this like I said. I'm just going to let it run and get the oil in there circulating. And then I'll, once it's, I'm done running it, I'll you know, flip it over until it quits fire and make sure all the nitro is out of there because that's what makes the metal rust, the bearings. Um, and then I'll fill it with after run oil and put it back in the box and until I have something to put it on. So I'm going to start it, and that'll be about the end of this video because, well, it's just too loud to talk. But I'll leave that run until that tank's gone. And like I said, then I'll fill it up with the after run oil. Thanks for watching.